Hi, this is Lisa from QuillingPatch.com. I'm just going to do a quick video on how to use the Lettering Delights cut -its, their their, print, their version of a print and cut, with Make the Cut. I tried to do this earlier today and I ran into some problems and it may not be as intuitive to other people as it was me. I'm actually reasonably new to Make the Cut. I usually work in K&K Studio and I'm trying to learn and become more proficient with uh, Make the Cut. So. Today, I did find the print and cut more, a lot easier to use on Make the Cut. There's a lot of things that are more easy to use on and Make the Cut versus K&K, &K, but that's another, another story. Um, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to get the print and cut onto the screen and print it so you, you can cut it out of, on your machine. So first off, you can, you're can you going to get your image. Now, with Lettering Delights, they do have an option to get your stuff from them. Where is it? Where are you? There we go. Their toolbar. I have a lot of problems with the toolbar. I don't know why it doesn't work for me. I have problems logging in. I have problems seeing the files that I've bought. Um, and I also think it takes up a lot of screen space. So I'm going to shut that off from now. I find the best way is to go right to the lettering.com website, buy my stuff, save it to my hard drive, but I know I have it and I can access it anywhere. Probably like a lot of people, I have a main computer that I do a lot of my designing on and then I have a laptop, actually a little bit bigger than a laptop or a computer um, in my craft, craft area that I use to do all my cutting. Okay, so I'm shutting that. I bought a file earlier today. I'm going to import the SVG. If you go from, let to, from Lettering to Lights, you're going to get that toolbar. So I'm going to go to the SVG section where I bought my files. I'm going to browse to the folder. Here it is. I'm going to do this uh, patty cake uh, one here. Now, when it pops up, it comes up quite small. You're going to be tempted to make it bigger. Don't do that yet. Bring in your print before you um, you uh, start messing with the sizes to make sure it's all aligned properly. This is not an intuitive thing at all, by the way. I struggled with it. I did a lot of uh, hunting around the internet to figure out how to do, and I finally got it. Um, I'm just going to show you the print function of of this because there's a video by Sandy McCauley, who uh, it's up on YouTube, but I'm actually going to put it on my site after this one that explains how to do the whole print and cut feature from top to bottom, top to bottom, except for this part. It didn't show that and um, you can just go refer to that. It's, it's a really well done video and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna reinvent the wheel. Okay, so we're over here, we've got the cut part out there we're gonna we would cut out on a machine, we now need the print part. What we're gonna do is go over it, right click, go to this section, change color, texture line, select texture, there we go, and browse to the folder where the image is. And I it's right here. I have to know it's this one, it's a PNG file, I'm gonna click on it. I'm going to leave, leave the defaults where they are. And boom, it changed. Now I'm going to change the size to 8 inches. Now, um, 8 inches in a width, because most times the paper you're going to be using with a print and cut is an 8.5 by 11. I would say 90%, maybe 99% of all the files designed for print and cuts are 8.5 by 11. That's because very few people have a 12 uh, inch width uh, printer. And uh, then again, there's other people that don't have a 12 inch cutting cutting area. So we're going to go to the 8 inch, 8 inches for our 8.5 by 11 uh, paper. It should, uh, there you go, open up. You can make this a little bit bigger and zoom out if you want. Oops. Just zoom out a bit. And this new feature. Okay, so I can, taking a quick look, I can see it's everything's lined up perfectly. My edges are nice and clean. There's no overlap. There's no skewing, which I actually did have in my lot, my uh, first attempt with this. Now we're ready to do the printing part of the print and cut. Go to File. Oh. Now you need to make sure when you're doing this that the la if, you're, if you're in landscape mode and, and make the cut, you need to be in landscape mode in your printer. I work in landscape mode all the time. I prefer to do that and make the cut. So I'm in my landscape mode. Now I'm going to go over to uh, print options. And in this case, this is where we add our registration marks. I'm going to put, click on print registration marks, which we need. And then I'm going to go into show paper on that, and that'll give us an outline of the paper. And I'll apply. And there you see it. Actually kind of neat. They go all the way around it. That's your that's your cutting space. So you could make the paper, you make your print out a little bit bigger. I'm very happy with the eight inch size. I'm not gonna mess with it. And uh, I have my registration marks. You can see this is where they'll be right in there. And we'll cut right right there. Okay, now I'm ready to print. I'm gonna go over here, back to file. I'm gonna go print setup. I'm double checking that I'm on landscape. So there I am. There's my printer. 
look, I can go into properties and change a few things in there if I need to. Um, I go do photo or text and image. The paper you're using should you be a heavier weight because you're probably going to be folding it. Um, and well, in this case, we're sure to be folding it. Just be a little bit heavier weight. And I don't advise you use textured uh, a paper in the print and cut it. You don't get a very clean print on it. Okay, so I've got, I'm in landscape mode. I'm good. I'm good to go. Okay, I now can go ahead and print. I'm going to go to here and print. And there you go. And if you're still having trouble, um, check out Sandy McCauley's video that I'll also put in this blog later. Good luck.